here in Olan Gapo and Olan Gapo is only a hop, skip and a jump actually from Subic. But it's just how, how funny it is really. It's so funny to me because as soon as I cross into Olan Gapo, it reminds me of being in Manila. So Olan Gapo and Subic are on the border of each other. And Subic was run by the US government, the US Army and Navy for a number of years, for you know scores of years, probably since the you know even the 1950s or maybe even the 1940s. But I just find it hilarious that as soon as you go over from Subic to Olongapo, it's just absolute madness. I mean, like housing it is very small, then you've got traffic that is just horrendous. Uh, people just walking and running around everywhere, doesn't matter on the road or the pavement or run across the road. Um, that, that's just how it is here in Olongapo. So you can see here that there's a crossing. The people will walk across the road five feet in front or behind the crossing. And it really is annoying because, yeah, I understand now maybe there's traffic and you can cross the road. But imagine when there's not traffic, it could be night and you're, you know, zooming down the road trying to get home and it's late at night. Well, you know, this is when accidents happen. Unfortunately, you also notice that it's not as clean and pristine here in Olangapo as it is in Subic. Subic has a really nice feel to it. A lot of the construction was by the uh, Americans, a lot of the construction, and like this guy here, I could be running, you know, driving across and he runs across the road and I could have hit him. It's very dangerous. So yeah, look, um, Olangapo does have its own uniqueness, but personally, I much prefer Subic uh, than Orland Gapo. I also feel a lot safer in Subic. I don't really have any problems in Subic, whereas Orland Gapo, I would not suggest walking around at night alone. It just, well, it's not safe. For foreigners anyway, it might not be safe. As you can see, there is a big difference between Subic and Orland Gapo. What I'm doing now is I'm just driving into Subic SBMA. You can see the little sign here, it says SBMA. And immediately you're gonna notice the difference. For example, jeepneys and these little, you know, personal utility vehicles, they're not welcome here in Subic Freeport Zone. And it really does help with the flow of traffic. So straight away, you can see how much better it is. I shouldn't be filming here because the cops might pull me up on it, but yeah. yeah. It's okay. I'm just worried they might say, oh, you're not allowed to be on the phone. You see how orderly it is here? So at the moment, these lights aren't working. So it's not a very good example, but usually what happens here is you've got to stop first. And after you stop for a few seconds, you're allowed to go. So everyone has to give way to each other and it is quite orderly. It's much cleaner as well. To my right hand side here, you'll see a local university. And to my left hand side, you have what's called a Yala Mall. So a Yala, well it's Harbour Point Mall actually, but it's developed by a Yala. Ayala is probably the biggest and the best mall developer and developer here in the Philippines. Yeah, I'm so happy to be back in Subic here. It's just so much more peaceful. And you can see the sign there, you are in Subic Bay Freeport Zone. Unfortunately, I can't U-turn here, damn. I mean, you can see, you really can see the difference that it makes, you know, taking away uh, the little trikes and the jeepneys and the mess and having all the stop lights and stop signs. 
you know, traffic just runs so much more smoothly here in Subic and it's just so much cleaner here in Subic. sign there, Subic Bay Freeport. It is a freeport here, so if you set up a company or you do business here and you live here, it's a tax-free zone. Here in the car park, about to head over to Harbour Point Mall here. I need to grab a wall bracket for my TV. I couldn't find it in Orland Gapo, and to be honest, I don't know why I even bothered looking. <laughs> So the old story is true, you get what you pay for. Although Orland Gapo can be a bit cheaper, I much prefer to stay here in Subic Bay. It's cleaner, it's more pleasant, and it just makes life a hell of a lot easier for me. Especially for the fact that me being an Australian, I'm accustomed, I'm used to a certain type of lifestyle, and I don't want to compromise that type of lifestyle.